What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the MLB The Show 20 Road to Rebuild series. This is episode number three, episode or episode number four, actually. Episode number two was done on stream, rebuilt the Reds, won some World Series. Episode one was rebuilt the Rangers. Episode three, um, I think it should be out. Um, we rebuilt the Rays. Um, and then this episode, we're going to be rebuilding the Diamondbacks. We're going to see what we can do. Let's see here. Turn that off. But our goal is to win a World Series with every single team in the Major League. So far, um, we've re rebuilt two. And the Rays video will be coming out here shortly. I think it, sh it should be already out. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the job done with the Tampa Bay Rays, but I'm going to count that as a rebuild because that team, uh, out of all the rebuilds I've done, that's the best team I've gotten so far. And then we've rebuilt the Detroit Tigers, and that was a really, re that was actually the best team I've had so far. So you guys can uh, look, look at those. They're up on the channel so far. We got what? Tigers, Rays, Rangers, Reds, and now doing the Diamondbacks. So we're going to take a look at what we've got here, and then we're going to make some moves. <laughs> Um, so the approach that I'm going to be taking at this team here is try and get good young players, people that are going to get better, that are going to be a staple in this program, help us win. So we have three really good outfielders already. We have Cattell Marte. He's going to get a lot better in center field, really develop. Starling Marte will play right, and David Peralta will play left. Marte um, is, going, is going to have to play his secondary, but... These guys are getting old. Marte, 31 years old. Peralta, 32 years old. Ahmed, 30 years old. Escobar, 31. This is a pretty old team. I don't know. I mean, Bumgarner, 30. We're, we're going to look to try and add some youth to this program here. Cole Calhoun, Corbin Carroll, and Diego Armas. A couple young guys um, who aren't really playing that big of a role in the team right now. He is in the minors. Are going to be straight to the Twins. We're going to pick up Luis Arise, a 22-year-old second baseman who, as you can see here, will be playing second base for us um, over him. I don't know how to say that name. It, Ildemaro, Ildemaro Vargas. Um, picking up Mitch Garver and Taylor Rogers as a, as a closer. Uh, we're probably going to use him over Archie Bradley for sure. Use him over Archie Bradley. We're going to make this deal. Let's, let's do it. Okay, so the key to rebuilding and I will be the show is if you go to the free agents and this guy is available You have to pick him up right away. Look at that. I'm paying him 100k or honestly. Okay, we can't sign him. I guess That's going to have to work as a contract, but dude This guy is going to we're either gonna trade him and we're gonna get a lot of um, Is he not in here? He might be he might not be on the 40 man gonna have to move him up but he is going to be a either want to stud in our rotation for a while he's already a 79 overall he's only 21 years old um, and he's got a potential either gonna be a stud in our lineup or okay full 40 minute roster or he's going to be traded a big trade piece and bring some guys in uh, which that is also an option but I kind of want to use him I just dropped somebody on the 40-man roster. I just did. We'll have to do it again. There we go. All right, let's see if that works. Balazovic. Add him to the roster, moving him to the majors. There we go. He is going to be extremely good. He's really going to get better for us. Um, right now, I kind of want him over Luke Weaver. Where is he? Oh, there he's in. Okay, he's in there. I'm dumb. Yeah, but we traded for um, Mitch Garver. He's in there at 84. Um, Luis Rise is at a 79. And our other guy, who do we get? Taylor Rogers is our closer at 87 overall. Just make some more trades. Um, this is another big trade that we're about to make. In, uh, I'm going to pick up his starting pitcher, Jameson Tyone. I got him in the last rebuild with the Rays. This guy always develops... Um, in I don't know what it is about the franchise game mode, the sim, the simulation engine. Jameson Tyone always really develops. He he ends up at, at about a 90 overall um, each franchise mode I do, and we're able to get Josh Bell in the steal. And as you can see here at the first base position, 
This is huge. He's only 27 years old, a potential, and he's already an 86 overall. Much better than what we got right now in Christian Walker. Sorry, Christian, but uh, we're bringing in Josh Bell. So this deal is a deal that um, people probably are going to be a little upset about, maybe. But we're trading away Mad Bum. He, I mean, we have him for five years on contract. Um, but he's 30 years old. He's got B potential. He's only an 86, and he's just only going to go downhill. We're going to bring in a 26-year-old with A potential, 89 overall, Aaron Nola. Everyone knows him. He's going to be an ace of our team for the next 10 years. I don't even know. Um, but we're going to trade for him. Luke Weaver is going to be added to the squad. He's got three years on his contract, so we're going to have him. Now he's not just going to be a one-year player. I'm going to trade away Luke Weaver. This one, it's not a big deal. I mean, he he is going to get better, but we have all these guys are still young. None of them are over their 30s. Once we bring in Nola and trade away Bumgarner, nobody's going to be over their 30s. This rotation's up and coming. Getting Weaver out of here is not going to kill us, and Bumgarner is honestly going to help us. And then the last guy is a backup catcher, Carson Kelly. So that's not a big deal. We're going to make this trade and get Aaron Nola. So we're going to my old team, GM. We're going to take the pretty much the whole Rays bullpen. Uh, we're taking Jose Alvarado, Diego Castillo, and Colin Poach. Um, but they're all under 26 years old. They all have B potential. And they all, these two are, are high silvers, almost gold. And then he is almost a silver. And they're all cheap. So we're going to pick these guys up, add them to the bullpen. We're just trading a couple backups away. Uh, he's, the center fielder's... Third on the depth chart, getting getting rid of a backup left fielder. That's not bad. We got Seth Beer here also coming up, and then at shortstop, uh, we're trading away our 68 overall backup shortstop. We're really gonna pick up some good bullpen arms, so we're gonna have to bring these guys. Make sure they're in the MLB. I hope I think they are. They are okay. So we're gonna take a look now. Rotation solid. Bullpen is. Why are these guys not in there? Why do we have Duplant? If we have a 58 overall, and let's get that 75 overall in there. Come on now. Same thing here. It's with this nonsense. All right. Pretty solid lineup, looking real good. Only two guys. I'm, that's against the DH. We're we're in the NL, so we're gonna look at no DH. Th this is this is the only guy that I'm concerned about here is Marte and maybe Escobar too. Is they're old. I don't want them to digress because all that we want is these guys to make progress throughout the years. That's what this team's gonna do. This team's gonna be good in three years. Mark my words. Maybe we do something this year, but this team's gonna be good in three years. And in three years. He's going to be 34, 35 years old, and I don't know if he's going to get much better because he's got B potential. Same thing here with Marte. I don't know. They're good cards. Don't get me wrong. 85 overall, 85 overall. But, I, I mean, right now they're going to help, but I don't know if in the long run they're going to be that important. So we'll see if maybe we look to trade them at the deadline. Um, maybe they're going to be playing really well for us. And maybe we're going to be in contention. But I'm going to start simming through this year. I think the team is set. And we're going to get into this. This one is... It's... Guys, I know we're going to... I was going to start the year, but... We're trading away Starling Marte. We're going to pick up Alex Verdugo. I know people are going to be really confused at why we're doing this, but... He's going to get a lot better. 23 years old, 8 potential, 73 overall. Don't have a right fielder right now. He's going to start for us on the in the big leagues, and he's going to get so much better as these years go on, goes on. He's going to fit right in there. Him, imagine this team in three years. Him, Marte, Peralta's, get, yeah, Peralta's definitely going to get a little worse. Ahmed, Escobar, Arias, Bell, Garver, Taylor Rogers. These guys, all the bullpen guys we picked up, Nola, Tyone, Gall Gallon, Ray, Balsavich, and even Young. The guys, I, I kind of hesitated when I got in here. 32, 30, 31. Those three. These are three also, also three guys that were paying quite a bit and are going to get old. They're not fit. They're not going to fit in with the team real well. 
we'll see what we do. Those three guys I'm going to keep for sure. See if we can have a little success with them this year. If not, at the deadline, we're going to look to get rid of them. Chicago Cubs so the thing about this rebuild is we are in the same the division as the Los Angeles Dodgers, and I think that they are, they have the best record in baseball by an, abs an absolute landslide. And we're eight and a half games back of them. We are first in the wild card the race. We're actually Jays, playing pretty well, better than I expected. The Kansas City Royals picked um, up let's see here. Hits in total Who's as playing well? Nola. See, Tyone's already up to an 83. Gallon's already up to an 83. Ball Savage is working his way up. Ray. Rogers is up to a 91. This year, I mean, we need to start winning this year. As these guys. Catal Marte's cold. He's still hitting 317. Eight bombs. Yasmero Petit earned his fourth win out of the bullpen as the Athletics took care of the Tigers. We're all betting over 300. The 340. Combined for Jeez, Christian as Walker. As they defeated the visiting Yankees, 6-3. to three. That's Willie with a Calhoun DH. We're hitting a major with no force DH. At the plate with six RBIs, Christian Walker's hitting 340 with six home runs. Angels, I'd probably rather have him in it. And that's what's going know. on around baseball. Well, it's got 12 bombs. Can Walker play anywhere Join else? He can play left. More updates from around major I know Bell baseball. can play right. I don't know. Maybe Verdugo gets his way out of there. I don't know. We'll let uh, we'll let the computer figure that out. But teams playing pretty well. Is anybody playing well in the minor leagues that we need to call up? Nope. Everyone is still the exact same. We're gonna get back to Simmon probably to the All Star break, and then I'm gonna check up on you guys. So well, it is the trade deadline, show, and we are 14 and a half games back in the Dodgers, deadline. but Starting we're actually NL doing West. pretty well the in the NL. The wild card. Where is the wild card? We are in. We are in the playoffs the right now. If the League would end today, we would be making the playoffs. So we're going to use this trade deadline, and we're going to add a big piece. Um, we put it. We put Escobar on the trade block. We got to bring in. We got to bring in a good player here. I'm thinking. Sano would be a good player. I like this. I like the Sano trade. The Miami Marlins combined to give up just five hits as they took care of the. Mets at City Field, four to two. Do we Jack get rid of Flaherty Escobar? Won the game, finishing a complete game one hitter as the Cardinals took care of the Brewers, three nothing. The New York Yankees allowed only five hits in the game as they took down the Red Sox on the road, nine to two. He's cold this series. The tribe got twelve a good year. hits in this one as they took down the Chai Sox in front of a home crowd, nine six. The Detroit Tigers amassed fourteen hits in the game as they dethroned the Royals, eight two. The Halos racked up 11 Let's hits as a team as they took down the visiting Mariners 7 to 6. The A's sent 3 balls into the seats as they were winners over the visiting Rangers the Rios, 3 man. to 2. And that's the show. The trade deadline is only hours away. I'll, I'll so don't work forget to no, check I'll in tomorrow for a full re So I am just going to do this deal, going to get Miguel Sano on the team. I'm also going to look to get another pitcher during this deadline and try and get Ahmed out of here. Let's do that. All right. Here's the deal. We are trading away Balasavage. That's okay. We're getting we're getting Ahmed out of here. Um, Balasavage is also gonna be he's gonna be gone. But we are bringing in Marcus Semyon and Frankie Montas onto the team. Ooh, actually, you know what? I don't really want him anymore. Oh man, we're trying to get Semyon here. Have expanded, starting out in the NLS, I'd like to let, the I'd like to ask you if you've ever seen something like this. Diamondbacks four to one. The Dodgers have 95 wins, and well, it is three hits as they bested the visiting Rockies two to nothing. The September Cubs starting three home just right now. As they These the, the Dodgers Giants are going to win. Six to five. The Reds combined for 120 games? I mean, I don't know, but Orioles, this is ridiculous. We are 22 and a half games back, overall, and we're Pittsburgh second place, the Brewers, and we're still three. in the playoffs. The we're still a wild card team. A the St. Louis 95 wins. The Yankees only have 80. As they defeated I don't know the how that's possible. Fills, four to nothing. Two. The Oakland Athletics but, smacked 15 team hits um, as they grabbed the win against the visiting Royals, 8-2. I mean, we're playing pretty well, Balsavich. Oh, man, September. it's not. You can't get cold now. It should now. be a fun day of watching all the newly the team, minted here's major a look leaguers at the team. making their debuts. And don't forget to listen the in tomorrow to see down, how they did. We, got, we really got to win games here if we want to we make the playoffs.
Atlanta got by Houston. Well, we didn't make the playoffs. We were two games back of the wild card spot. But like I said, that's okay. I didn't expect us to win this year. I'm expecting this team to start winning in a couple years. A lot of young, up-and-coming talent here with these guys. Noah really excited to see what our rotation looks like in three years, two years. Um, but we're bringing back pretty much everybody uh, with our contract extensions. Sim simulate, let's simulate the postseason, see who um, wins. And the Do I mean, the Dodgers, of course, are won. That was unbelievable. But we're going to uh, simulate. We're going to advance to. Okay, we're going to advance to. Welcome Pujols to the show, the everyone. Thanks Advance the offseason. Start making Wednesday some moves. Morning. Probably sign Let's a free agent. And I'll let you guys know when we make from around Major League Base. <laughs> We signed Marcus Samian to a six-year, $96 million deal. We tried going for him yeah, at the trade deadline, but that didn't work out. So we're going to end up trading for him. or I mean, signing him in free agency. Sorry. And he's going to be our first stop. He is, only, he, or he is already 30 years old, but he's a 90 overall, man. And he, I think he has a potential. So that's going to be... Exciting, Corey Kluber to the Dodgers. Oh gosh, Corey Kluber now on the Dodgers. Simulated free agency. Yeah, there's no nobody really else to sign. Um, that that's a big signing though, Marcus Simeon. Where I don't know where he is in the lineup. Let's just check the roster, make sure he's on it. Yeah, that that's that's exciting. Three guys over 90 overall now. And I'm liking the way this team is shaping up. Still not better than the Dodgers, but I think we're now a playoff team with Simeon. Going to make a little bit a little bit of trade work here um, this offseason. See if we can add a couple more pieces that we're missing. Ball Savage is not going the direction that I want him to. I think we're going to trade him and try and bring in a different pitcher instead because he's got a lot of trade value. I think trading him would be pretty uh, high value to trade away Ball Savage, try and get another guy over 80 overall. Complete the all 80 overall rotation. But yeah, we just got Semyon, and hopefully he adds to the squad. So, we're in spring training, and Ball Savage is up to an 84. Bullpen is looking solid. Everyone's making upgrades. Um, everyone's getting better. Lineup. Oh, who is this DH? Why is Nick Ahmed not playing DH? I don't know, but we, we don't use the DH in the NL, so I'm not even worried about it. Why is he playing right field over Alex Verdugo? That cannot happen. I'm probably just going to trade this guy away because why is the CPU putting him in? We're going to trade him away, try and get a different piece, another piece for the bullpen maybe, and uh, I'll see you guys. So our backup closer, Archie Bradley, we don't really use him that that much. You don't, you don't, like, you don't want a backup closer. He's used to closing games. We're going to pick up Avicel Garcia. He's going to play over Peralta, 33 years old, only in 83. He's getting old. Um, I, I don't like the way he's trending. And then Alex Young, a back, uh, just somebody. And the, you know he's not even in the starting rotation, but we're going to trade him away. We're going to pick up a VCL Garcia, make that trade. And there we go, final piece of the offseason. Now we're going to get into this season. <laughs> well, uh, this season is, is um, it's pretty Welcome decent here, I must show. say. Um, we're 43 and 17. Bell, we're lead the division. The Rockies are actually having a really Arizona good year, too. Of course. Why are the Rockies the chasing us down like this? Runs. They would be the, the league leader Rockies in every other division. Why do they, they have? Why? The why does this have to be so unlucky? But. We're gonna have to beat the them out. Uh, we're playing pretty well this year. I like, I like how we're, I like how we're doing this. I like how the team's playing. Pete Alonso, I'm not gonna work there, but uh, yeah, I mean, look, looking well, looking, looking solid here. I like the lineup, the way it's looking. Let's Miami get right Marlins back to it. Let's keep sitting. The Arizona um, I don't know what's going on, but we're having the best year. I mean, this might this might be unreal. We're 70 and 25 at the All Star break, and the Rockies are still chasing us down. They're nine and a half games back, but dude. Dodgers are 22 and a half games back of us. We're 70 and 25. I mean, I'm not going to keep saying much, but listen, I'm just going to sim. Let this team, let this team play out. Oh my gosh, everyone is improving too. Yeah, let's just keep on simming. I'm not going to mess with it. Deadlines here. We're just trading away some prospects. Picking up probably the best relief pitcher in baseball right now. He's only an 82 overall, but he's playing well. He's got the hot symbol next to his name. Another 78 overall reliever. And Eduardo, and Eduardo Rodriguez, so hopefully this just bulks up the team. I didn't try and do much this um, this offseason, or this uh, trade deadline, but throwing Rodriguez in there. Ray will go to the bullpen, but 
I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. Lineup's still the same. Absolutely balling out. I'm going to show you guys the sim now. A little bit. This is what this is like. This is unbelievable. Oh, get a get a little sweep there. Got to sweep the Rockies. All right, taking two for two out of three from the Rockies is big. We're at a hundred wins and we still have a month left of baseball to play. I'd assume there's no one close to us right now. No, it's the next September closest team in baseball the is the team that's chasing Rockers us, the Rockies. Starting in the National League Angels West. are up there, Starling yeah, Castro, but that's, that's crazy, man. We're playing the extremely the well. Tyone's got 20 four. wins. Ryan Helsley. Tyone is 20 and 1. That's, that is Cy Young the stuff the right there, 94 overall. The Lineups, oh, everyone's hot, not one person's cold except for Dugo. Let's keep simming. Don't even worry about anything right now. Just keep simming. Oh man. Even if we even if we lose the World Series right now, we're we're gonna have a record year. I'm gonna look up MLB record for most wins in a season. What is the MLB record for most wins in a season? We just won we just won 116. MLB the regular most wins. season is winding down, but the postseason races are heating up. Here's how yesterday's nail-biting action went down. Looking first at the NL Central, Bubba Derby. And w, his 11th this season. it was 116 from the, the Mariners. So did we, we got 116, today, right? That means we tied the, the record. One game and now, second, while the Cubs are second in the division. we are going to sim through the postseason here. And we got the Dodgers. I'm actually not even going to do this. We're just going to, we're not simming the offseason, but... Kershaw versus Nola. Kershaw chokes in the postseason. Oh, Tyone, man. Cy Young. Cy Young right there. Gallon versus Bueller. And all right. 3 0 sweep. Let's send here. Got Milwaukee. Woodruff is 0 1. Aaron Nola's on the mound for us. We lose. Tyone versus Peralta. We win. Gallon versus somebody I never heard of. And somebody I never heard of versus Eduardo Rodriguez. And then Baba Derby. That is. Okay, versus Nola, and we're going to the World Series, taking on Cleveland. Shane Bieber versus Aaron Nola. We win. Clevenger versus Tyone. Cy Young stuff right there, baby. Gallon versus Savali. 6 to 10. I don't know. Ooh, 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 ooh. 8 to 6. We need one more win. Come on, Nola. Aaron Nola's got to get it for us. Boom, baby. World Series champs. That was the easiest, easiest rebuild I've ever done. That team was unbelievable, there, no Welcome doubt, by far the best team ever had. 116 in wins in the regular season, the World easy Series. World Aaron Series Nola win. None of the series were even close. That's a World Series win right there. The I don't even know if I want to do another year because I don't think anything else is going to even come close to them, even living up to what we just did right there. I'm going to sim through another season just to see if we can do it again, but uh, yeah, let's get into this next offseason. Look at this offer. Ten years for Yelich. We're going to have him until he's 40. $310 million. We're going to go ahead and offer him that. I hope that gets the job done. Bringing Christian Yelich to this already firepower team. Christian Yelich is on the squad. Let's just uh, stop simulating so we can take a look at what the team is going to even look like. Right field is a battle between Yelich and Verdugo, but it's a battle that I don't mind that's going on right now. Uh, obviously Yelich is ahead, but Verdugo can easily find a spot. David Peralta, I might eat, I might have to just let him go here. He was a big help last year, though. I don't know. We're just going to get into the season and see how this team does. What happened in the major leagues um, on so once again, we have the, the best NLS. record the at the All-Star break, leading the Dodgers by three games, the and the Dodgers Arlington, are first in the wild card race. So, we're going to keep Simmons, team looking good. Nolan Gallon need to pick it up, especially Gallon needs to pick it up a little bit. Rodriguez pitching well, Balsavich is up, Ray is up, Rogers is up to 93. I'm liking it a lot. Looking at this the here. As the Dodgers grab the win against Colorado, four to three. Jameson Tyone is. The why is he in? To allow only four hits as they is that a the joke? Nats, six to three. Tyone needs to. Mets, for a four be in the MLB is a 90 overall. Bucos, one to nothing. 
The Miami That's a joke, Marlins huh? Hit three long balls yeah, as they I need to. The Phillies and Citizens yeah, Bank need to Park, figure out one of lineups. The Cardinals amassed 14 hits in the game as they in ran there. over the He's Reds, cold and he still has 25 home runs. And batting 262. Sano's in there. Yeah. I mean, the the Bell, 92 overall. 98, 89 overall. Mark Simeon is batting 8. As Toronto took care of the Reds, tell you how good this team is. Nick Keith Simmons. You know, pick up with you guys here. Probably at the end of the year. Boys, we got sad news. Oh, we finished here at 116 and 46 again. We could not break the record for wins in a single season. That was literally set by us last year. That was tied with the Mariners. And I don't know what year, but in real life, I'm talking about. Real life, yeah. 116 and 46. I mean, who am I to complain? We, we killed the Dodgers, killed the Padres. Giants are 59, about 60 games back of us. That's unbelievable. Um, this team is. Is, is ridiculous. It's ridiculous how good this team is right now. Um, I don't think we're going to lose one game in the postseason, but we'll see. We got a couple guys cold here, Garver and Simeon, but nonetheless, I mean, they're still great. Um, so let's, uh, let's see him here. Let's, let's get going in through this postseason. Okay, let's get going here. Who is going to win the wild card game? And yeah, Stodgers, and we won the first game. Same thing that happened last year. Dodgers and three game sweep. Take on the Cubs. It's going to be Aaron Nola versus Syndergaard. Win. Lost. We lost one. No. Balasavich and somebody I never heard of. And Robbie Ray's got to go out there and get this last win, and he cannot. Who is this? Nola? All right, come on, Nola. Are you serious? Well, you know what we got to do, boys. I didn't want to have to do this, Welcome but I can't show, believe this everyone. is going to seven. Us a part of your... um, we're going to have to quick manage. We do have Tyone on the mound, and they have a pitcher I've never heard of. But, you know, I guess uh, that doesn't mean much. So let's just let's, let's just go through this. and uh, Three. Ball four. Trying to win a freaking ball game here. Come on now. Hit the hit him in. Oh, Peralta. Three-run bomb. Garber steps up, hits a bomb. Send me in with the single. What a great first inning. Just going to go through this. Hopefully they didn't blow this 5 run lead. Look at Arias out there. Slow to uh, ground out. We're going to go to pitching change here in the eighth. We'll go to, Rod we'll go to Rodriguez. We're going to get a single. And then uh, go to Rodgers for the save. And we're going to the World Series. Okay. That, that one was not very scary. That was scary that I went to game seven for sure, but that game seven was not scary itself. Here we go. We're facing a guy who's got a 720 ERA in the postseason. We lost. Taking on the White Sox. Val Savage, come on. We got to win one out of two here. And we're at home for both of these games. Come on. Back to back. Back to back World Series champs. Unbelievable. Uh, that's unbelievable. Basically, Hi what there, I'm going to do is you're either going to next hear my outro or you're show. going to see me six of the at the World end Series. of next Miguel year. Sano and if we win three in a row, then I will definitely let you guys know. All right, so in the ALCS, we get beaten Welcome six the show, by everyone. the Mets. Us a part of your um, Let's jump into the latest it's unfortunate. We got up to a 2-1 lead, and then they won the three in a row there. Our pitching was pretty brutal. We gave up nine runs, ten right runs, then four runs. The in the uh, and as you can see, each game was a bullpen loss. The starters pitch well. Taylor Rogers, the closer, blows it. Bullpen pitcher Alvarado blows it. And Alvarado, why don't you just blow it again? Alvarado blows the last two games of our season. That's all right, though. We won two World Series in a row. We weren't as good this year. I think we won around 100 games. Um, and we were in the wild card. The Padres had an unbelievable year, which you knew it was coming with Tatis, Chris Paddock, Dinlinson, Lamette, and all the other guys. But 
yeah, it was, this was a, this was definitely the most fun one I've done so far. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.